What's up, everybody? We are back to the norm today after our last video for this edition of Headlocks and Hot Packs. And as mentioned in our last video, we picked up some baseball at the LCS recently, and here's one of them. We have 89 score. We're going to be rookie hunting again today, trying to see if we can pull um, any of the rookies out of here, because I don't have any of them in my personal collection. So we're uh, searching for Craig Biggio, Randy Johnson. You've got uh, John Smoltz. Those are the Hall of Famers. And then you've got some lower names like uh, Gary Sheffield, Brady Anderson, and the like. No Griffey in this edition of 89 score. He is uh, in the rookie and traded set. As uh, I'm sure everybody has seen these before, but here's a look at our first cards. The pretty basic designs on the front and the back. There's Glenn Hubbard, Andy Allenson, and uh, we'll find one of these in uh, every pack. Harold Reynolds, Bob Stanley, our first member of the Red Sox. Two Red Sox there, Mike Smiths, and nobody really prominent, Chuck Finley. And there's the Sheffield rookie out of the very first pack, so um, off to a pretty good start. Some uh, decent centering here off a little bit left to right but uh, not too bad pack number one and we've already knocked the Sheffield off the list as Don Slot is the last one there. If you missed our last baseball video uh, we ripped 87 Donruss at my buddy Dave's house and you definitely will want to check that out. We pulled all of the good rookies out of that one box. It was uh, as good of a box as you could hope for from 87 Donruss. Another LCS pickup. 1979. Dave Schmidt, Jeffrey Mumphrey, Chuck Krim. Score was usually um, like an earlier released set, so I think that's why Griffey didn't make his way into this one. And then guys like uh, Sheffield, Smoltz, Biggio, and uh, the big unit did. Now, this is not my first time opening 89 score. I had a bunch of it when I was a kid. But it's been uh, quite a few years since I have opened any of this. And again, I've never pulled uh, David Cohn there. I've never actually pulled a Griffey rookie card. We tried with 89 Donruss, Jerome Baroa rookie. Uh, we tried with 89 Donruss not too long ago and struck out. So that's definitely something I'm going to continue trying to do on the channel here. Not sure. I probably will have to go back to 89 Donruss. Candy Maldonado took a little, uh, little bit of damage there. Here's our next little hologram holographic card that was 1956 David Cohn again back-to-back -back packs I'm gonna go through these a little, through these a little bit quicker just cuz uh, Mike Harkey rookie card and Gerald Clark rookie because as you can see these are the trademark trash bag wrappers the score was known for and can be uh, a little bit more time-consuming, especially with uh, 36 packs to go through. Willie Wilson, Craig Lefferts, 1981. These all have um, like some kind of fax or something on the back. I guess they're technically inserts, but there's zero value to them. Nobody, I don't know if anybody that really collects them. Donnie Hill, Terry Francona, and Mike Diaz. I haven't really seen um, anything for Hall of Famers yet. Honestly, the only thing of note we've found is the Sheffield rookie. Still got a lot of packs to go here. And the score is always a uh, massive checklist. Rob Deere, known for striking out a ton. Willie McGee, Tony Phillips, Andres Galarraga, Hojo. So some... Uh, Minor stars, Sid Fernandez, 
Bill Pakoda, Scott Bankhead, Will Clark, another kind of minor star. A lot of people still collect Will Clark. Not a Hall of Famer, but definitely a Giants legend. Looks like our top cards keep... I don't know. I don't think I'm the one doing that. Top cards all have, seem to have a dent there. Gerald Perry, Mark McLemore, Jim Pankovitz. I've never heard of him before. Next we have 81 again. Mike Witt, Greg Swindell. That was another rookie that we pulled out of 87. Donruss, Jose Akendo, the utility man extraordinaire. And then John Franco. The last one there. It's kind of crazy that we... Uh, haven't seen like a single Hall of Famer yet. Unless I s missed somebody, I don't think I did. There's a perfect example there of what I mean by how these pack uh, packs can be a pain. There's our first Hall of Famer, Alan Trammell, and then Andre Dawson right after that. Doyle Alexander is one we saw a bunch of in the 87 Donruss. Dickie Thon, George Bell. Jeff Montgomery, Todd Stottlemyre, Bob Malacki rookie, and there's a Ramon Martinez a rookie. That's definitely one of the, I guess, lower names. The brother of Pedro and then Dave West rookie card, not to be confused with David West, basketball player. I also went to school with someone named Dave West. There's probably millions of Dave Wests on this earth. See, this one's really giving me... That one really gave me a bit of an issue. There is Chili Davis, Mike Greenwell. Again, another of the rookies in 87 Donruss break. Charlie Huff, the 97-year-old, Frank Viola. Greg Booker, Fernando Valenzuela, minor star. Mike Gallego, Greg Minton, and then Franklin Stubbs, the final one there. We need some more stars out of this box. It's crazy that we have only seen the two, and they were back-to-back uh, -back in that pack there. And there we go. Right off the hop, there's Dave Winfield and Ricky Henderson, a couple of... Uh, Hall of Famers in their Yankee years. Bobby Ojeda, 1958 there. So I'm not like a huge fan of this design. It's pretty, um, pretty plain, but I think I like it better than the 88 score design. I just wasn't really a big fan of, uh, like the different color borders. Good lord. Maybe that's the way to go about it, is just try to rip it that way. Jim Presley, another Doyle Alexander. Are we going to see a ton of him in here? Billy Buckner, 1942. George Bell again, so some of the same collation a little bit there. Danny Darwin, and then Terry Pohl. So nothing really in that pack. See if the yeah. The, so looks like the rip method is going to be the best method there. Tony Pena, Chet Lemon. I thought that was going to be Cecil Fielder for a minute there. There's old Pankovitz again. Robbie Thompson. There's 1974. We just saw John Cerruti in the last pack, or possibly the one before that. Brady Anderson. There's his rookie card. Again, one of the minor ones. So we still got uh, the three Hall of Famers rookie cards that we have yet to see. Milt Thompson leads off Dave Parker. Another uh, borderline Hall of Famer. There's my hometown guy, Billy Swift. Roberto Alomar. That's his second year. 
solid hopper there, the Von White, Rex Hudler, Steve Cersei rookie card, Luis Medina, Funky Cold Medina, and Todd Froworth rookie as the final one there. So we keep this train chugging right along today. Dave Stewart on the top of this pack. Rich Renteria. I don't think any relation to Edgar Renteria. Storm Davis again. There's another Alomar, so back to back packs on Roberto. Valenzuela, second time seeing that one. So a lot of repeats in the first half of this box. Carlos Quintana and Edgar Martinez rookie card. That uh, is not actually his rookie, though. Um, he does have rookies in 88. Threw me off a little bit there, because I did not see his name on the uh, checklist under rookies. So I guess that's a case of um, kind of like the Donruss rated rookie symbol, where they put it on some guys that aren't actually rookies. Ellis Burks, that's his uh, second year there. Julio Franco. Robbie Thompson again. As we dropped uh, 1967 on the table. Bob Brenly, Tom Bolton. Back-to-back -back Red Sox there. Mike Greenwell, 88 highlight, and then Oral Hershiser highlight. So we get three highlight cards. And then there's Conseco. That was, uh, I think that's the 40-40. Yeah, that was the 40-40 year. So a decent one there. Definitely the best of the three highlight cards in there. I guess those take the place of any rookies. Hall of Famer on the back of this pack. There's Paul Molitor. And Billy Ripken. Bill Buckner once again. Paul O'Neill. A minor star. 1935. I'm just going to let those fall at this point. Paul Ossenmacher. Mike Maddox. Also saw his rookie in 87 Donners. That whole set is just loaded with them. Buddy Bells. John Tudor. Buddy Bells. Buddy Bell. And then a pretty nicely centered Paul Mulder there. Pretty good shape on that one. Yeah, looks like we're roughly almost almost halfway through. Probably not quite there. Yeah, as we start with Jeff Treadway, some more repeats. There's 1960. On Sam, well, Jack Morris with long hair. I've never really seen too many pictures of him with. Long hair like that. The Hall of Famer Jack Morris. Rick Shue. Craig Reynolds. And looks like we have a rookie at the back of this. It's Doug Desenzo. If that actually is your rookie. If that is your real name, Mr. Desenzo. This one's coming apart in pieces. A little bit tricky on these trash bag packs. There's Conseco's regular base and then Tony Gwynn. So are they just putting the name players back to back? Bill Swift again. There is Palmero. I don't think I need to say it. Another one of the rookies in 87, Don Russ. Bruce Benedict. And another Sheffield rookie, two of them thus far. So two of those before we even find another, or won't before we find one, Smoltz, Biggio, or Randy Johnson. I don't know if that's a good sign or not. Next pack, there's Jose Uribe. Don Heinkel, I guess? John Cruck. A year to remember, 1960, I think that one was. Eckersley, another Hall of Famer there. Mark Clear, Gary Ward, Lloyd McClendon. Kevin Romine, Donnie Hill. 
and no rookies in that pack there. Another Tito Francona. I've seen a couple of those now. So the rookies are almost always at the back, it seems. So uh, looks like if if we do find any of the big three, it might get spoiled a little bit just because of the way we're having to rip these. 1983 there, Rafael Santana. There's another Eckersley that almost looked like Smoltz for a second there, but obviously he's throwing from the left side, so can't be him. Not a lefty, and Jose Batista, that's actually his rookie card there. As we are more than halfway through here. Yeah, there's no real good way for me to hide the name of the one on back. Kirby Puckett, that's a nice one. First time coming across that. And then Jack Clark, I don't remember ever him. I don't ever remember him with the Yankees. Tim Raines, another Hall of Famer there. Second time seeing Paul Merrow, 1937. Billy R, Keith Atherton, Bobby Thigpen, Mark Davis, Larry Parrish, Paul Gibson, I think that's his rookie, Jeff Musselman, and then Dennis Rasmussen, the final one there. It also lists um, there being inserts in 89 score that are not these little like hologram things. Uh, at least on Trading Card Database, it calls the Young Superstars inserts, but those... I'm almost positive were like their own sets, 1953. So they aren't really uh, inserts because you couldn't pull them out of these packs. They were came as a complete set. Cameron Drew, never heard of that guy. I don't know if there's any relation to uh, JD or Stephen Drew. Probably not. Because I feel like we would have heard that throughout either JD or Steven's career, at least at some point. Kelly Gruber, Andy Van Slyke, there's 1976. Jack McDowell, Rick Sutcliffe, Darren Dalton. I'm starting to lose hope on uh, a lighter. Finding one of these big rookies, but um, still too early. Still too early to tell. Another Ramon Martinez rookie on the back of this pack. Barry Larkin, Hall of Famer. Followed by Denny Walling. John Cruck again. 1987. Oil Can Boyd. Gary Ward. John Dobson. Terry Mulholland. Ricky Henderson, 88 highlight. And Bob Malacky, rookie, and then there's another Ramon Martinez rookie card. I didn't think we were going to find uh, any of the others in that pack because it seems to have pretty similar collation. Eddie Murray, another Hall of Famer. So the Hall of Famers are uh, starting to appear here. Mark McGuire, not a Hall of Famer, but that's definitely a nice find there. Joe Carter. Minor star, basically. 1946, Schwan Dunstan. Lou Whitaker, another minor star. I'm going to let him fall to the table a little bit. Borderline Hall of Famer. Next is Bruce Hurst. Melito Perez, Joaquin Andahar. And then Ron Jones. Rookie or not rookie. Rookie or not a rookie. That is the question. I think that one... Actually, might have been. God, these packs are such a penis in the anus. Alan Trammell, second one time seeing that, followed by Dawson yet again. Billy Ripken. Here is 1985. That is my birth year. Yes, folks, I am getting up there. Steve Trout, Mark Salas. Dave Stapleton and then Franklin Stubbs there as we get ever so closer to the end of this box and my uh, hopes fade little by little. Lenny Dykstra, Ron Kittle, 
Chris Sabo, that's actually his rookie card, Teddy Higuera. So that could be a good sign, seeing that one for the first time. Dale's Fame. Les Straker. There's Gedman. Carlton Fisk, Hall of Famer. So it's definitely good to start seeing some uh, different names towards the bottom of the box. There's another Edgar Martinez. As it looks like we have like, nine packs remaining in this box. Thanks for joining me on this rookie search, everybody. If you would, please hit that uh, thumbs up button down below. I definitely would appreciate that. And if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, hit that sub button as well. BJ Serhoff, 1969. Other Dale's fame, so same collation as before. Sutcliffe Dalton. Rick Anderson, Dave Meads, and then Jim Eppard. As uh, yeah, we have officially hit our final eight packs, so um, now is the time for these other rookies to start appearing. Namely, Biggio Smoltz and Randy Johnson. Pete Smith, Dwight Evans will go in my Red Sox binder. There's Bo Diaz, 1932. Haven't really seen a ton of uh, stars either. Well, I guess maybe I spoke too soon. Nolan Ryan, definitely a good one there. He's still pretty collectible. Juan Berenger, Lance Blankenship, Rick Dempsey, and then Pedro Guerrero. And then there were seven remaining, so everybody cross your fingers. And hold out hope. Willie Randolph, Wally Joyner, sorry, trying to keep the names on the screen here. 1978, Mackie Sasser, Don August, Steve Lombardozzi, Jay Buhner, is that, um, I think that's Jay Buhner's rookie card, I'll have to uh, investigate further, I could be wrong on that, 88 World Series, there we have Canseco, Gibson, Stewart, and Oral Hershiser pictured, and then Paul Zuvela. Paul Vuvuzuela. We move on to six remaining. John Tudor. John Tudor on the back. Steve Sachs. Harold Baines. Pretty wildly off-centered on that one there. Frank Tanana, 1973. Bo Jackson. First time seeing that one. Another good one. This is his uh, th like third or fourth year. Jody Reed. Ken Gerhardt, Dave West, rookie, Buddy Bell, and there is the John Tudor with five remaining. Are we going to really go through this entire box and not find any of the Hall of Fame rookies? That would be pretty crazy. Or perhaps that would be evening things out for us finding every single good one in uh, 87 Donruss. Brett Saberhagen, Ozzy Gian, Ron Guidry, Wrigley Field highlight, first night game there, Wade Boggs highlight, not too bad, and then Doug Jones highlight, saves record, looks like there. My nose is starting to run from being bent over here. Four packs left to go. Doug Desenzo on the back there. Once again, Carney Lansford had some decent years in the 80s. Tom Brookins, Saberhagen again. Lombardozzi, Todd Stottlemyre, Kurt Manwaring, and then the Desenzo rookie three packs left to go. Let's, uh, let's even it out. Let's put one of each of those rookies in each of these packs. That would be pretty cool. Dave Parker. Rick Russell. There's another Kirby Puckett. 
second one of those, 1987. Jamie Moyer. Alex Trevino, Tracy Woodson, and then Jim Eisenreich as we hit our last two. So, I don't know. I don't think we're going to find any of them, which is crazy. Crazy we're only going to get the Sheffields, it looks like, out of this whole box. Fred Lynn, 1955. And most of the good players we saw were all basically the same anyways. Danny Cox, Steve Searcy, and then Luis Medina as we hit our last pack here of this opening. So that's pretty crazy. We found two Sheffields. And really, that's it. No Biggio, no Johnson, no Smoltz. But that's the chance you take on a box, especially like this with such a huge checklist. David Cohn again. Scott Bradley, Hershiser, Frank White, Fred Tolliver, Donnell Nixon, and then Luis De Los Santos. So that's pretty wild. Two Sheffield rookies, and uh, none of the other big ones. So definitely a disappointing box, but uh, still fun to look and try to pull those rookies anyway. So that will do it for our 89 score wax box opening. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, hopefully everybody enjoyed this video, and we will see you again next time here for some more Headlocks and Hot Packs.